Hi guys! I am coming to you today with another wig review and this one is of the custom uh, push human hair wig that I ordered um, and I want to show you guys all about it. Uh, just a heads up, if you are thinking about doing a custom order with Wig Studio One, just be aware that they do take a little bit longer. Um, it is being custom fitted to you specifically, um, so just be patient. Uh, if you don't want to wait a little bit longer for one of your pieces, then there's also stock pieces. Feel free to go on over to Wig Studio One, type in PUSH, P-U-S-H, and you can see everything that there is in stock. Okay, so this is actually um, a Bren wig. So if you're familiar with the, the push line at all, um, it is a Bren piece. It started off about 18, 18 to 20 inches long. Um, I have had it altered. I have another video that's up on my channel that shows you what I did to alter it. Uh, not a lot changed about it, but mostly just putting in some long layers down here to remove some of the weight. So before I talk about the actual wig itself, I do want to go ahead and do a 360 so you guys can see what it looks like on all sides. Right, so this piece is, as you can see, it is a lace front. I don't have it glued down or taped down or anything because I'm gonna take it off to show you the inside. Um, it does have a silk top to it. Uh, if you're not familiar with a silk top, it is gonna give you probably the most, in my opinion, the most realistic parting space that you could possibly get. It mimics your real scalp. The one thing I want to caution you, or not really caution, but just give you a heads up, if you order a silk top piece, no matter what the company is, it will have a transition area if it is a lace front. What that means is that lace fronts are meant to uh, be all the way at the front, so creating you a new hairline. Um, the lace and the silk tops are two totally different materials, so essentially you will see a transition point from where the lace uh, starts and the silk top ends. Uh, you can get around that by just putting a little tiny bit of whatever makeup you use for your face on that little transition right here and it'll blend straight into your skin. Has not been a problem for me whatsoever, but I do want to mention it because some people might be, take, be taken back by a little bit of a surprise whenever they get it and they see that there is this transition line. Super easy to fix. It is a reality of a lace front silk top wig. Um, I personally have not seen any that do not have this, whether it's a wig or a topper. So just be aware. Uh, but the quality is fantastic with this hair. Um, it feels like silk, it feels like butter. This color is really pretty. Let me go ahead and tell you the color. It is 10 slash six slash eight R. As you can tell, it is a little bit more of a ginger tone so the base of it, the, the overall base is a 10, which is one of the lightest, uh, on the lighter side of brown that you can get. Uh, because of that, then you also have a little bit of like a six, um, kind of blended throughout. There's no chunky highlights on this wig. Uh, it's just a six and a 10, like really nice and blended together. Um, and then you have a little bit of eight as well, which is where that, um, where auburn jean is coming in from. Eight is a pretty warm color brown. So when you put them all together in this particular uh, hair tone, it came out pretty ginger for me, which I really, really like. Uh, it looks like a very natural color. I feel like it, it suits a fair tone skin quite well. Um, and I absolutely adore it. Um, be aware that if you are getting a wig that you like to pull your hair back like this, that you are, if you do still have your, um, 
own bio hair that you try your best to match it. Um, if you don't have any bio hair, well, then you don't have to worry about that. Um, but if you do want to blend your own bio hair in, uh, make sure that at least the roots match with your own bio hair. So like I said, I did alter this a little bit. Uh, I took some of the weight down here off and it has some uh, longer layers into that, but nothing major. If you wanna see what the original looked like, you can take a look at my channel um, at the other video that I have out there. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of the wig. All right, well, I have it off. Here is that silk top parting space, like I was mentioning. Uh, it is uh, a quite a large parting space, you'll see in just a second, but it just really, really mimics human scalp really well. So here is the inside. There is that silk parting space through there and the lace front. You have ear tabs. When you do get um, a wig from Push, they do come with clips on the ear tabs here. I personally don't like the clips, so I have removed them, but they only are right here and they're very similar to the pressure uh, clips that you see inside of toppers. Uh, no clip in the back or anything. The back is the uh, bra strap adjustable adjusters. I have mine on the largest setting because again, this cap was customized and chosen just for me. We measured my head in about 10 different ways uh, and those measurements went into having it fit specifically for my head so I didn't have any gapping up here or gapping in the back. Uh, it, it just fits really, really, really nice. I still wear my wig grip with it just to keep it nice and secure but it's not going anywhere. And that's actually more for habit than necessity. Here is your nape. It does have some like baby hairs down here for the nape. Well, not really baby hairs, but shorter, shorter hairs. Makes it look a little bit more natural, especially if you're gonna pull it up at all. Um, some of those could hang down. You also have some of those hairs over here on the um, ear tabs as well. All right, guys, so if you'd like to pick up one of the push wigs for yourself, you can go over to wigstudio1.com and type in push into the search field. There you're gonna find all the stock pieces that are ready to order. Um, and if you'd like a custom one, you can reach out to Wig Studio One directly and they'll get with you to get your measurements and get your custom piece all made for you. Uh, just remember that it will take again a little bit longer because it is a custom piece. So make sure you uh, make sure to ask those questions up front. All right, and as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can also hit the bell icon as well and that will notify you anytime that I show a new video here on YouTube. Until next time, bye-bye beautiful.